What you have to do is understand where the demand for energy comes from and where the supply comes from. And the three big sources of demand are transportation, electricity, turning the lights on in your house, and everything else. Now, the supplies for energy come primarily from fossil fuels. Coal goes into electricity, oil goes into transport, gas supplies all of these things. There's some nuclear power, it's smaller than the fossil players, but still significant, and there's some hydro. And there's a tiny but growing dot over here of renewable. To solve the climate and energy problem, what we need to do is to preserve the energy sources that meet the demand, which is in fact growing, especially as the developing world develops and, and gains an increasingly Western lifestyle, while not releasing greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. What CCS does is it allows you to keep the energy flowing, but keep the CO2 that used to rise into the atmosphere and you put it into the ground instead. A lot of people think that the reservoirs are underground lakes, but in fact they're not. They're in sandstone, we call it clastic, or limestone, and it's like a rock sponge.